Once the nucleus is out, the next step is irrigation aspiration. You just saw me using a 30 gauge cannula through the side port to irrigate any of the trapped material in that incision. Then I start the actual removal of the cortex with a curved or an angled IA tip. IA is irrigation aspiration. I always start sub-incisionally. That is the most difficult cortex to remove. Once I have the sub-incisional cortex out, I usually go counterclockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter, and kind of go 360 degrees and remove all the cortex. Here you can see I still have a little tuft of cortex sub-incisionally, which I'm very gently tugging at, and you have to be very, very meticulous to not tear the anterior capsule or edge to not cause a decimase tear and gently remove that subincisional cortex. Once that uh, step is done and all the cortex is out, the next step is polishing. As you can see, I don't change my tip. I just change the mode and on my FACO machine and go to polish. And these are the tendrils. They look like um, seaweed or kelp, you know, underwater. They're attached to the posterior capsule, but float about. And I very gently remove as much of those um, adherent fibrils of cortex as possible and before the next step, which is implant insertion.